Cipriano and Bruzzi, ladies and gentlemen. No stranger to legacy. This is his sixth legacy. It's, it's no secret what Cipriano and Bruzzi has been dealing with. A little less, a little more than two years ago, sorry, retiring in an RWA ring, suffering a knee injury, thought his career was over, made a comeback. And since then, he's been pushing to get gold around his waist. Reformed the Bruzzi family, unsuccessful in getting the tag team titles. Tried to save this company from Christopher Dozer, unable to wrestle away the Triple Crown Championship. And now, after picking up a non-title victory against Tripolicious, trying to get that goal that he so, so much wants to get. And it, this might be his last shot. Um, I, I'm lost for words of it. I, I honestly don't know what to say. Of a triple licious, no secret. One of my favorite competitors here in the RWA. It, it almost kills me that Cipriano Bruzzi is going to face him for the triple for the hype championship. But I mean, a 15 year veteran in this business, just last night taking part in a ladder match before Legacy, just putting it all on the line. I, I don't know how anybody can't like this guy. Plus, he dresses like the best dressed wrestler in the RWA. I don't know what more you can say about this guy. I love him. I, I was getting my love for Tripolicious out before you came in here and tried to stifle me. Wrestling Gaddafi down there. I, I wasn't gonna try to stop. That was for you, Big you. H. I was not gonna, not gonna stifle you. What I what I was gonna do is tell you that that is a four foot ring that I leapt off of. That was dumb. The stairs. We've come out of the ring once already tonight. What's wrong with you? I don't know. That's this match question. is very important, and I'm sure you've already spoken about it a little bit, Joe Corey, but we'll touch upon it again here. Cipriano Abruzzi won a no uh, a non-title match against Triple H a couple of weeks ago on RWA Hype. He does not know how much longer he has left in the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. He is coming back from a retirement right around this time of year, about two years ago. He has two bad knees. He has come very close to winning uh, the RWA Triple Crown Championship, came up just short. He is 500 at Legacy, three for three, has never won a singles match here at Legacy. Yeah. And he doesn't know how much more he has left as far as title shots or chances in the ring. Cipriano Bruzzi said it today. He will give Triple H everything he has because he doesn't know how much longer he will be. I mean, RWA original and Cipriano Bruzzi, I mean, like, like I've said it with other people tonight, but it's so true. It's, Legacy holds a special place in their heart. I mean, like you said, three and three. This is his seventh legacy. I mean, the only legacy he missed as a as an in ring competitor was Legacy six, and that was because that was only because weeks of the after injury. his retirement, right? I mean, and he managed at the time. And think about how weird this is, and how far we have come in two years. He managed the tag team of T Phoenix. And Christopher Dozer, back then known as the Baby Bull. And honestly, that, that was the night the world changed. I mean. Collin Elbow tie-up, challenger and champion. Center of the ring to the far corner. Tripolicious breaks the hold as well as Cipriano or Bruzzi. Both men relatively equal in height and in weight. Cipriano or Bruzzi, RWA's strongest man. I, mean, I mentioned it while you were coming back up, Rob. You see the tape on the shoulder of Tripolicious taking part in a ladder match only last night representing the RWA in another promotion. I mean, he's been taking that hype title to different places representing us. And it's, he's still carrying on victories. I mean, outside of here, inside of here, he's literally bringing all of that veteran experience into this match. Kyle and Elbow tie up once again. These two jockeying for position as a Five count in the corner. Tripolicious breaks the hole. Oh. And a chop to Cipriano Bruzzi. And Bruzzi's going to go right at the Tripolicious. And Tripolicious is going to call a timeout. I, I think Tripolicious woke up Cipriano Bruzzi. Now you wonder if and when Abby Knox will become a factor in this match. 
as Tripolicious, who has used many of the underhanded tactic. I did not see the Johnson & Johnson's bottle with him. It doesn't necessarily mean it's not around. It's true. Colin will tie up center of the ring again. A bruise. Muscles back, Tripolicious. Tripolicious reverses and sends him into the back corner. A bruise powers Tripolicious back and Tripolicious can't believe the power shown by Cipriano. And there's a move made to Abby Knox. And here comes, there comes Cipriano. Abby oh. Knox over the stairs. Tripolicious sends her over those stairs. As Cipriano chased after the man going after his woman. And Abby Knox is, is pretty pissed at Tripolicious. You gotta realize, too, at the same time, you know, championship advantage you know if he can, if he can get Cipriano Bruzzi that angry and he goes a little too far it, it saves the title Triple just doesn't need to win this match he just needs to not be defeated Colin Elbow tie up once again challenger and champion they have wrestled to a stalemate right now I would say that Cipriano is probably ahead on points but not by much I think this is match is relatively a draw as Triple H is once again pulling his best Floyd Mayweather, lands a shot and runs away. And Abruzzi is not going to oh. take it. What a knockout forearm! Sending Triple H down to the ground and back up. They don't call him lights out for nothing. We know who taught Cipriano how to throw forearms. Has, a, has the challenger, has Triple H as the champion in a bad way. Triple H is trying to feign off Cipriano, trying to beg off. And a big scoop wow. and slam by Cipriano. Cover, one, and a kick out. Yeah, very impressive by Cipriano Bruzzi. A fire inside him that we haven't seen in a long time. Side headlock once again. All right, Triple H is. Bruzzi fights off, sends into the into the ropes. Nobody moves. Shoulder tackle. Oh! Spinning wheel kick. Off the ropes goes Trips. Shoulder tackle takes down Tripolicious as Cipriano or Bruzzi shows that strength. Nobody's going to question the power of Cipriano. Top wrist lock. Switched by Tripolicious. Tripolicious oh. is able to use an arm ringer and then chop the inner arm, trying to separate that shoulder of uh, Cipriano. Remember, Cipriano Bruzzi has those bad legs, and I know Tripolicious knows this. I wonder if and when he's going to go after him. As a Bruzzi just takes down Tripolicious. I tell you, I think it's smart by Tripolicious to go towards one of those arms, because if you can damage one of the arms, it's very easy to switch to one of the legs. You don't have to put as much effort in, and you're just taking out every appendage you can on Cipriano Bruzzi. And you take away the Larry. A Bruzzi has Tripolicious up. The ropes with Triplicious, duck under by Abruzzi. Abruzzi back up to his feet, goes for a lariat, and Triplicious slides out. And now has Abby Knox by the back of the head. And here comes Cipriano again. And this is, I tell you what, there's one, there's a couple of things you don't do with to an Italian man. You don't insult his mother's gravy, and you don't take his girl by the hair. Abruzzi. But what you can do is use it to your advantage, like you just did. I was going to say that, cover two, and Abruzzi's in the ropes. Tony P seeing that, breaks up the three count. Triple H just knows how to get under the See, skin of Cipriano. This, this is the difference right here. You've seen so far, that's two or three times now that Abby Knox has been used against Cipriano or Bruzzi's emotions. If I was Cipriano or Bruzzi, I'd be telling her to go to the back right now. This is the last, one of the last times he's going to have for a title. He should be focused, not worrying about her on the outside. Triple H Measuring Cipriano Bruzzi, who is a little bit staggered. Snapmare takeover. Oh. And a kick right to the back of the head. Now a rear chin lock applied. You can see Triple H2 leaning into it, putting his body weight on top of Cipriano and Bruzzi. Everybody thinks that a rear chin lock is, is, is a wasted hold oh, not at all. in professional wrestling. No. I, it, done properly, it, you sap the strength of your opponent away while honestly not doing a lot of expending energy on yourself. It, it's honestly one of, it's a picture perfect move. It, it benefits you and it weakens your opponent. And you see how Triple H just now has Cipriano Abruzzi not even sitting up, has him flat down, almost belly first, 
onto the RWA ring as Tony P is checking on Cipriano, who is reaching for dear life for that bottom rope. Triple H is using the ah, he's torquing on it too. He's using the torque, and now using his weight oh! to get more leverage on that. And again, you see how it is not a wasted maneuver. Actually, just very, very effective. And Cipriano trying to get some sort of adrenaline, getting a little bit of oxygen back to his brain. Gets up to a vertical base, but look at the dead arms every time he lands a shot. Shot to the back by Triple H. You just see his arms hanging, hanging down. I mean, there's nothing left there. Irish whip, a bruise into the ropes, catches himself. Triple H charges a shot to the midsection for Triple H. The champion is staggered. Triple H is charging a back elbow this time by Cipriano. A bruise going for that roaring lariat. Triple H ducks under it. Sends a bruise back into the ropes. A shot. Triple H reverses it. Spinning Triple H off. A boot. A bruise has that bad wheel. Triple H knows this. What's he going to do to a bruise's leg? Triple H spins a bruise off. A bruise going oh, for the oh. going for the headshot. Nobody home. Triple H tried to measure for a forearm. Now here comes the headshot again by a bruise. A bruise has trips up and goes for wow. Triple H reverse and cover. Rolled through by a bruise. A bruise almost lost that match thanks to his own maneuver. You can see the shock on Cipriano Bruzi's face. To that a bruise charges. Rolled through by Triple H's one, two, and a kick out at two. Triple H up on the shoulders of a bruise. going for the headshot. He nails the headshot. This could be it. But a bruise, how oh. much energy has he expelled? He can barely get over to the champion. Trying to float over and does float over Triple H's one, two, and oh. a kick out at two. The combination of the band legs and lack of oxygen thanks to that rear chin lock by Triple H is really costly to Cipriano. It, it's tough because this was a situation where you'd like to see Cipriano duck to the outside, get his wits about him, catch his breath, but he's got some momentum going. He doesn't want to lose that. Cipriano and Bruzzi measuring Triple H's. Both men, opposite corners. Triple H oh. saw Cipriano coming, high knee to the challenger. Back elbow takes down Cipriano. Cover one, two, and a kick out. And now you can see that earlier in this match, Triple H is trying to find a way out of this match. Now he wants to beat Cipriano oh, yeah. and It's He's gotten under the skin that of Triple H's, has Cipriano. And the thing you see there, I mean, not, not doing anything fancy. Nothing's going to require a ton of energy. Just throwing a back elbow with his entire body behind it. He, he knows exactly what he's doing to make all of his energy count. All of his movements count. Talking to Cipriano Bruzzi earlier today, he talked about how he remembers the first legacy in North Providence where the RWA was born. And he has been to every legacy since. He knows how much he has left. He does not want to divulge that information, but from what I've gathered, it's not much. And Bruzzi will fight until he can fight no more here tonight to try to gain one more championship in his illustrious career. Chomp to a bruise. Remember that Cipriano Abruzzi was one of the first RWA heavyweight champions and lost the first Triple Crown Championship match, which was here at Legacy to his younger brother Vincenzo. Nice reversal. Abruzzi ducks under. Triple Ishes rolls through. Abruzzi off the ropes. Oh! A big spear. That could be it. Cover. One, two, and a oh! Throw. Wow. Almost had a new champion, and Cipriano Abruzzi cannot believe it. I, I, he caught Triple Ishes out of nowhere with that. I thought it was over. Cipriano is looking at Tony P with shock. Triple, uh, Triple H was down for another count, and Cipriano just got up because he's so shocked right now. A bruising, looking for that roaring lariat. Measuring Triple H, who is dazed after that huge spear. Triple H is staggered. A bruising has it measured. A bruising going for it. Misses the lariat. Wow. Caught by Triple H. And there. Is the brace for impact oh. sending Triple H to the outside? 
That is a finishing maneuver from Cipriano Abruzzi, and Tripolicious, whether he knew it or not, escaped a possible you, loss. You can see that Cipriano just looked to his side, saw that Tripolicious went to the outside, started pounding the mat. Knows that that was a wasted opportunity now because Tripolicious, using his veteran experience, got to the outside. Abruzzi laying belly first, center of the ring. Tony P is administering a standing 10 count. He is up to five. If Triple H gets counted out, Cipriano wins the match but does not gain the title. You gotta wonder, Rob, you know, we, we talked about the ring, you know, he's gonna go outside now and lift up a dead weight Triple H. It's not like the RWA's usual ring where you can really lift him up and push him into the ring. You have to lift him into the ring now. Does he have the energy left to do it? Well, we'll find out as he is on the far side. Triple H is dead weight down on the floor in front of our fans at ringside, trying to and does roll Triple H into the ring. You wonder if Triple H is playing possum here. Here's a cover. One, two, and Triple H kicks out at two. It's just too much time elapsed there. I mean, you feel for Cipriano Bruzzi, you know, hitting that move, but it just, fortune didn't work out for him. It's such a a bruise, back up to his feet. I cannot believe Triple H just caught the roaring lariat. Forget ducking it. He caught the lariat Literally. and threw it back at Cipriano. A bruise, measuring Triple H. Triple H is now trying to beg off. Yeah, I realize too. I mean, it's not like they're strangers to each other. Cipriano Bruzzi is defeating Triple H to get this match. He knows what to expect. Cipriano charging, big splash, charging again. Oh! That, that big kick as Triple H is able to sneak through the second rope. And kick a bruise, right in the face. And now the sweeping clothesline by Triple H. The clothesline and he sweeps the bottom leg when he delivers it two and a kick out just at two. Triple H has given almost everything he has to Cipriano or Bruzzi, and a Bruzzi still kicks out. How much is left in the tank of Cipriano though? You can tell, you can tell he is starting to get gassed. You can tell that he doesn't have much left in the tank. And I hate to say it because Love him or hate him, and he has gone all sides, all sides of the spectrum here in the RWA, but Cipriano has really tried to fight back, and, and he's got a second chance as Tripolicious looking for that leg drop. Nails the oh! leg drop, and that could be all she wrote for Cipriano or Bruzzi. He hit that perfect. Tripolicious cover, and wait a minute. Tripolicious got up oh, as a Bruzzi laying on the mat. Triple H just wants to make sure that he puts the exclamation point down on this match. I mean, you referenced it earlier, Rob. He's getting, Cipriano Bruce has gotten under his skin. He's letting his emotions get to him. He knows better than to do that. Triple H is climbing to that top turnbuckle once again. He is perched high atop. A bruise, he's trying to get up. Oh! Another leg drop. And that's got to be it's all over. she wrote. It's over. Nobody gets up from two guillotine leg drops. Abby Knox is trying to cheer on Cipriano, who I think, no pun intended, the lights are out for Cipriano or Bruzzi. Cover one, two, and Cipriano or Bruzzi wow. kicked out! What? Bruzzi kicked out! He kicked out of two guillotine leg drops. Right, he almost got away. I mean, Cipriano, what, if he's even able to continue, what's he got left in the tank after this? He, he's literally emptying the tank at Legacy. A Bruzzi. Very similar to what Rocky Balboa looked like near the end of Rocky Three, has nothing left in the tank. Oh. He is completely gassed. I mean, you got to figure that's muscle memory right there. Like he, he hears that second count, and it's just instinct to get the shoulder up. Triple H is his, what is he going after? He has the hype championship. And now Abby Knox what going is right she after. Doing? She's trying to take the title back from. From Triple H's and Triple H's shoved Abby Knox. Well, she should be getting involved in the match. Well, I think she's had about enough of Triple H's. And he was, he just spat upon Abby Knox, who is now on the apron and holding the RWA Hype Championship. Knox takes the Hype Championship away that from Triple H's. That does not to you. Triple H's is trying to get the belt back from Abby Knox. And Tony B is doing nothing about it. Triple H's is. Furious at Abby Knox. Well, it's his title. He sent Abby Knox over the steel stairs by ringside. Meanwhile, in the ring, a bruise is up to a knee. He might be getting it. A bruise is out. Oh! He hits the clothesline. The roaring lariat. Come on. One, two, three. Oh, my what?
Abruzzi has done it one more time. He has climbed to the top of the mountain and he has gained gold in the RWA. That Lariat might have been what he had left. He's shocked by it. Abby Knox is shocked by it. I'm Triple H just can't it. believe it. But the old dog has new tricks. And he's walking away with gold here tonight. I Triple H just can't believe it. A bruise can, can barely believe it. Drops. You, you gotta do that. I, I. Hear that, the straw? It is, it is the first of three championship matches here tonight. Joe Corey, we have already had one title change. There are two title matches coming up next. And as Cipriano Abruzzi leaves two ovations here at, at Legacy. We are getting ready to prep the ring with a 15-foot-high steel cage. I mean, Rob, we we stood in the ring earlier today when they when they were when they were running through the assembly of the cage. I mean, it's it is it's it, unbelievable to be inside the cage, and I mean that was just standing in it. That's not competing in it. It it is an intimidating structure. The RWA Tag Team Championships are on the line. The heavy hitters and the influence. What just happened? And it could be one of it could be one of three possible title changes because in our main event inside that steel cage, Christopher Dozer and Mike Grassa, all of that is coming up. We will break everything down on the other end of this. You are watching RWA Legacy here from the Fair Arena. What just happened? Yeah.